It's a binge compilation. Okay, bye. Just some of the changes and design for the penguin symbol of old penguin paperbacks. He did a little dance for this crime. He was in prison in a bubble. Free him. I'm cute and I'm sexy, and that's why I'm allowed to build my wizard tower within city limits. Zoning laws don't apply to me because the whole city council is so charmed by my voluminous robes and funny hat. Mm. Kids, when life gets you down, you've got three choices. Give up, try again, or call Luigi. If you ever have the option to call Luigi, always call Luigi. Oh yeah. Birth certificates are just receipts for human beings. Uh, how and where can I return myself, please? Please. I want the money back. Real Netflix and chill is like 30 minutes of, what do you want to watch? I don't care, you choose. No, 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 you choose. No, you choose. No, you choose. I don't- Alternatives to Zoom, police, toilet paper, Amazon, Facebook, and hand sanitizer. It's 2020. This is the most 2020 photo I've ever seen, though. Reminder, you are under no obligation to look pretty. Not when you're laying around the house. Not when you go to the grocery store. Not when you sit in a classroom. Not when you go to the gym. You are never- Obligated to get dressed up just so you are pretty for others. Pretty is not the rent you pay to exist in this world as a woman! That last line. Wow. The idea of a straight vampire is just very funny to me. <laughs> like, imagine you're immortal and you aren't even capable of fully appreciating the good parts of it. All your vampire friends fully understand the aesthetic and wear dark and flowing clothes and sip blood out of goblets and then there's just you wearing... I don't know, like a salmon polo shirt and tan shorts, whatever straight people wear. I don't keep track of this shit. I give to you a map of the most popular species of furry Google search in every state. Ah, finally. The furry elections. I got a lot of questions for Colorado. What's going on there, guys? What's up? My brain is fired. I meant fried. You know what? My brain's fired too. Collect your things. I've had it with your shit. A pumpkin man sits inside a pumpkin house. Is the house made of flesh, or is he made of house? He screams, for he does not know. People are wild. When I rarely mention that I don't like kissing, they're automatically like, oh, you'll like it when you find the right person. Like, yeah, let me just go do the thing that I hate a bunch more times until I stop hating it, or more likely become numb enough to tolerate it. Like, thanks, idiot. You totally cared me. Because let's be real. They don't actually give a shit about my comfort. They just want me to shut up and act normal. Okay, guys, no Earth spoilers, please. I'm only up to the Cambrian explosion. Yo, I'm really loving these new dinosaur characters. I hope they stick around a while. Oh, fuck off! If you're driving a Tesla and it got stolen, is it now an Edison? This is peak physics joke! Oh, look, a guy packaged. Definitely not bees. Shake vigorously before an opening. Well, at least it's not bees. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not falling for that one again. If courage isn't the absence of fear, but doing the right thing regardless of it, maybe confidence isn't the absence of insecurity, but knowing you have real worth despite it. This is beautiful. By this same token, maybe goodness isn't the absence of bad thought or impulses, but the conscious choice to behave according to your moral ideals in spite of them. I love this! It's official. I have seen everything! A gay Jewish wedding where they rode in on a horse dressed as a unicorn! Wow. I love it. One time I dreamt, I saw the future. There were so few bees left that they crossbred beekeepers with them so they could better connect with them. I was taking a test to identify plants. I won because some dude thought pineapples were berries. And after that, I met a beekeeper who worked inside of a giant glass beehive and had little antennas and a dope-ass beard. Okay, so everyone was commenting on this post saying that pineapples are berries. Even I was like, no, that's not right. So I looked it up and... Is pineapple a berry? A pineapple is neither a pine nor an apple, but a fruit consisting of many berries that have grown together. That means that pineapples are not a single fruit, but a group of berries that have fused together. Okay, was anyone going to tell me that pineapples are berries, or was I just supposed to read that in a one time I dreamt post myself? Bananas, tomatoes, watermelons, coffee, cocoa, pomegranates, and pumpkins are all also berries. Wh what? What do you mean pomegranates are berries? You know what isn't a berry? Strawberries! Fuck fruit scientists! Hey, is anyone ignoring the part of the dream where bees and beekeepers fucked? Caution! Aliens with cowboy hats. 
Those fucking stylish bastards. I work in a pet store, and a woman was looking at her betas and asked me whether one was male or female. I told her that they were all male. Because they are. Our company orders only male betas. She looks at me incredulously and pointed at one and asked, Even this one? I was like, yes. Why? It's pink, though. Why is the male fish pink? I swear, she was borderline angry at me, and I didn't know how to explain that fish genetics don't adhere to human gender roles. The cyst. But what about biology? Also the cyst. But why is the pink fish male? Oh boy, wait till they hear about flamingos. And they're not even ready for river dolphins. Ghibli Movie straight up said you're gonna be really confused for an hour and 30 minutes, but it'll be breathtaking so you won't even be mad about it. To this day, not even sure what happens at the end of Howl's Moving Castle, but damn if Bird Howl doesn't look cool as fuck. Hey boss, I got you those flowers you wanted. Bada boom white and bada bing rose. Hey, I'm growing he. I am, but a humble moron vying for attention in this court overrun with jesters. Throw me some scraps. My bells do a delightful little jingo when I wiggle my tiny hat. If I throw you a banana peel, will you slip on it in a comical fashion? Yes, and my curly little shoes will wobble wildly as I screech and slip in pain. Do my pain not amuse and delight you? Is your thirst for savagery not sated by my misery? Even if one bad thing happens in 2020, I will completely lose my shit. Someone should check on her. It is not the prettiest, but here is a little chart I made of skin tones. The idea is to eye drop anywhere on the chart to get a unique skin tone instead of just stuck in the loop of white tan dark. <gasps> Useful. Flesh cloud eager to assist your art. Oh, hell, the mighty flesh cloud. Wait, that's what it's from. So. Someone put Mothman in their window, and now there's a crowd of people outside the dorm staring up at him and chanting, Mothman! I love college. The angle of this photo implies that OP is part of the aforementioned crowd. Who do you think started the Mothman chant? Advantages to wearing oversized sweaters. An instant cute outfit with minimal outfit. It enhances the coziness when you drink hot beverages. Sweater balls are guaranteed to make you feel 43% more adorable. And you can unbutton your jeans and no one will know. The disadvantages to wearing oversized sweaters... Guys think they're totally not cute, lol. The day I dress for a man is the day they dress me in my coffin to see Jesus. Also, um, says you, East Coast Breeze. Physically I am present, but mentally I am face down in a pool while this year by the mountain goats play on loop in the background. Things just keep happening. Yeah. Society. Blue is for boys and pink is for girls. Me. I am the gender non-conforming lobster. Gender non-conforming lobster is my new aesthetic. Me looking at photos of my boo. I misread this is my dog. I mean, that's better. I have this headcanon that the Warners have specific limits to their powers. Like Dot is whimsical humor, Wacko is physical humor, and Yakko... Yakko can just do about anything. I love not knowing who 95% of celebrities are now. Like, every day someone new is trending, I go, I don't know who the fuck this is! And then move on. I love that. Leonardo DiCaprio date a woman over 25 challenge. I thought that said Leonardo da Vinci and was confused since da Vinci was gay, and also since you were calling out someone who's been dead for well over seven years. Well, da Vinci has been dead for well over seven years, so I'll give you that. Oh, this is the grunt. Me refusing to leave Tumblr. Sir, this is my emotional support hell site! Sensor bot. Beep boop. Sensor bot approved. Me refusing to leave. Sir, this is my emotional hell. <sighs> Me refusing to leave, sir. This is my emotional hell. Is a funnier text post than my original one. Good job, sensor bot. So here's the game plan. I get 12 identical cats. I name them all Steve. So nobody I invite over will know which Steve they're petting. I then train them all to come over when their name is called. And then I convince someone I only have one cat named Steve. And then I tell them to call for him. A dozen identical Steves will then erupt from around the house to which I scream in terror. Oh god, no, he's multiplied again! And watch as the poor person panics while being surrounded by 12 different Steves. I love everything about this. Paranormal investigator? <sighs> no, I'm a paranormal instigator. I'm haunting your house and I'm here to start shit. Mrs. German Kindergarten. Every building built mainly for children should be this fucking weird. I can't even imagine how much happier my memories of early childhood would be if I could look back and haven't gone into kindergarten in a big old cat. 
Yeah. Jesters also had a vital role to play in the battles themselves. In the early Middle Ages, their job was to wage psychological warfare. What the fuck? Reading about jester history, I wanted to share this with you all. Oh, is that what shock jocks are? Fun fact! Face masks are made in such a way that water can't pass through the tiny holes in it! The source? I forgot to remove my mask before drinking water. My stupidity is immeasurable. Skeletons aren't scary. We're filled with pulsing, oozing meat. And y'all think the skeletons are scary? The meat's scary! The meat! It's midnight and this tweet is giving me a heart attack. FEAR THE MEAT! Meal suggestions. Should I have a proper meal tonight? Or should I just engulf a box's worth of stuffing for the Christmas spirit? I hope this email finds you a broken husk of a man. I hope this email finds you before I do. I hope this email finds you, she threatened. I can guarantee your email is not finding me well. The email. So here's the problem. I once yelled because I saw a centipede and my boyfriend commentated, a friend. And when I said no, he added, and maybe a lover. Now this has become standard procedure to referring to centipedes. So now I get messages like, a lover, a lover spotted within my dresser. No, thank you. Why is my name beef in your phone? You know, like BF. Okay, so Australia's got, like, new chip flavors. I think from America, like, Cool Ranch Doritos and potato chips, also hot wings. I mean, I know what that is, but... What the frick is Cool Ranch? America, explain yourself! We've dealt with your crap for too long, the actual frick! Karen Crab is here to sell you essential oils. Oh god, the disco ball's melting. So, do we... do we panic now? The real writer experience is standing in the shower and coming up with the most authentic dialogue with perfect phrasing and raw emotion in your head. Then stepping out and drying your hair, putting on some clean pajamas, and opening a Word document to write all of your perfect ideas, only to realize everything has evaporated. Yeah, same with John. What is your sexuality? Ah, uh, I forgot how people explain it. Uh, sexual int? You mean... You mean asexual? Yes! I shove joy in your brain sucking and you love it. You do it in a very unenjoyable manner. Less talking, more joy! Beat the shit out of you! This is a friendly interaction! How to draw Murdoch from gorillas. One, find a picture of each individual beetle. Two, put them all on separate layers. Three, merge all layers together into a horrible British rock abomination. Four, green filter. Five, done! Why does... why does that work? The name's Practice. Malpractice. Well, nice to meet you, Dr. Practice. Could you please tell me what's wrong with my son? He needs surgery on all of his bones. V very well, here's my credit card. I accept no payment. I do this because I love it. My new song, Toss Me Into the Sun, will be the antithesis to Fly Me to the Moon. Then call it Toss Me Into the Sun. What part of this post did you manage to miss? When somebody says, a man likes to feel like a man, all I hear is, a man likes to feel superior to you, and it's your job to make him believe it. Someone said this to me once, that a man needs to feel like a man, and I replied, well, I'm not stopping him. I had to watch this fragile creature try to explain to me that my strong personality could demean men. <laughs> like, if I have to pretend you are a strong man and cater to that, then you're clearly not that strong, dude. One time I was with my family. I dropped my plate of food, and I was like, God damn it! Then my mom was like, oh, You can't say that! So I said, Fine, Satan bless it! Everyone turned to look to me after I said it. I forgot I was in a church. Someone is talking about things and stuff that I'm not processing. Me. Oh, I should be processing this right now, huh? And then I didn't! How to write. Step one, open a Word document. Step two, sit with a document open for ten minutes. Step three, fall asleep. And step four, somehow wake up with a Word document filled with a story you don't remember writing. My sister really asked me how many monsters I've had in the last seven days, and I said six. Well, off to the shop to buy a seventh. Aw, oh, they meant drinks. I thought actual monsters. Shout out to water for keeping my throat sufficiently lubricated for optimal yodeling techniques. <clears throat> I had a dream last night that I worked at McDonald's and I was behind the counter when this guy dressed in a tuxedo, you know, with the white dickie and tie, was snapping his fingers for a server. I went over and asked to see our darkest red. I knew he was talking about wine, 
So I said, sir, this is McDonald's. The darkest one we have here is ketchup. And he had me pour him a glass of ketchup, and he drank it while looking me directly in the eye. Four guys my dad thinks are distinct people, but are actually all Brian David Gilbert. One, the lead singer of the All Together. Two, the boy who made the Mario movies. Three, the brain behind the awesome popcorn recipe I use. And four, the creator of the croon. I'm told that many Germans are stockpiling cheese and sausages in anticipation of a COVID lockdown. Planning, in other words, for a worst case scenario. <laughs> I scrolled past, and I scrolled back up. Then I rolled my eyes, and then reblogged. My favorite part of Beyond Light so far is the post-campaign quest where Elsie keeps revealing her traumatic past while the solar system's deadliest six-year-old stands there in complete silence. Free therapy. man -eel. Milan, Malin, Omni, Imnal, Almi, and Yamnal. The fuck, stop it, brain. I might poke you. Keep an eye out because now I most certainly will poke you. Is selling pickles in movie theaters really just a Texas thing? Like, I can't imagine going to a movie and not getting a pickle. Like, what? The fuck is going on in Texas? Okay, y'all about to hear my favorite Thomas Jefferson story. Americans used to think tomatoes were poisonous, but Tommy J, as a cultured world traveler and former ambassador to France, knew better. So one day, at a dinner party, he just whipped out a tomato and straight up ate it like an apple. And everyone was like, Thomas, no! And we're all convinced he was gonna die. He didn't die, obviously, and probably just sat there with a smug-ass grin as all of his guests ran frantically about to fetch a doctor to save him from the dreaded tomato. Interesting fact about me is I have great memory, but I also have shit memory. What this means, in practice, I can recite any number of Simpson scenes verbatim, but I can't remember what I did last week. Yeah. One can't decide whether to join the Bard's Guild or the Thieves' Guild. One will have to weigh the pros and cons. You ever just hand things to your pet to sniff so they feel included? Yes, I do! Remember when Katara wanted to blow up a factory for environmental justice and Aang just tagged along because he thought it'd be fun to be an eco-terrorist? Sure do. Yep. Good times. You know what? I might fuck around to drink the daily recommended amount of water. Oh god, I have to pee. You know what, actually? Fuck you! Uncobble your stone. Dude. Dude. Not cool, dude! What the fu-